All right, everybody. I just finished another productive day of fishing. You see, I got some catfish and some brim. But this footage is just to show everybody the lazy way, the purest, laziest way to clean catfish. But the most effective way if you feel like if you're going to grill them or if you're going to bake them. So first thing I'm doing, I'm just going to grab the catfish. And what you want to do is, you see how the catfish is like a little a little grayish, almost goldish color. This is flathead cat. What you want to do is take a steak knife. You can take a butter knife. And what you want to do is you want to scrape the skin. You scrape the skin and you can actually scrape the slime of the catfish off. Some people say that you can actually rinse the slime off. But that's just silly. You can't rinse the slime off a catfish. I mean, that's their protective coat for them to get in these holes and stuff that they be hiding in. I mean... It's a little bit more effort, but it's purely lazy because you don't have to worry about pulling, fighting, and pulling the skin off of them. So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm just going to scale this one, or not scale it, take the slime off this one real quick. And as you do it, you can see the difference in here and on this side. You can actually feel the difference as well. But you want to be careful not to take the knife and dig too deep into the skin to cut the skin. Because once you cut the skin, you might as well just peel it off. Now this process, I wouldn't use this for all these catfish I got now. But like if you only prop, you only go cook like maybe three or four cats. You're good to try to get the family together and just grill a couple or bake a couple. This is no problem. So once again, know that you're doing it properly. The parts that you didn't, the slime, I guess, you can see the difference in the color. And of course, feel the texture and you can feel that the slime is gone. What you want to do then is just rinse the cat off. Then we're just going to move you over to the cutting board. You take your knife. And you want to start at the base of the tail. Feel for that spine. And once you feel that spine, you just ride right up. Now, once again, I wouldn't suggest using this technique if you plan on frying the catfish. Because when you fry them with the skin on, the skin starts to bubble up. I mean, I don't know how many of y'all may have cooked chicken. But it's the same process where basically the meat underneath the skin won't fry just right. Because that skin is protecting the, protecting the meat. You just ride the bone. And then you come up to the top. And you actually just feel the spine. I mean the ribs. And you just ride the ribs all the way down. You cut right over the belly fin. And right down. And you got a nice piece of meat there. Again, I like to soak my, my fillets in salt water. You know what I'm saying? To take out all that blood. You flip the catfish over and you do it on the other side. Now, there is some people that like to, and when they're trying to get the skin off, they will take another fillet knife, a larger fillet knife, and cut around that way to basically de-skin the catfish that takes a little extra effort this is for the person in a rush or doesn't know how to take the skin off the catfish and it's real simple and you see the fish is see-through all you left is guts and that's the way the lazy man way to clean the catfish